I refuse to be blind, I refuse to close my eyes when someone is passing before me in pain. The importance of understanding the story is to bring people to a stage where they can see again what is happening around them. Our society has been very acclaimed as one that doesn't see the pain of the people around us. As individuals, we need to come to the point where we choose by refusing to be blind. For it is easy to not look at the pain of other people, it is easy to focus on our situations, but to understand the calling of God in our lives, we need to be able to look past our pain and suffering and go and minister to people around us. This is what makes normal people behave like gods. For in doing so, people can discover themselves. Jesus Christ is the perfect example for all of us. He was able to forsake his position and walk in the dust of this earth to minister salvation to people. He refused to be blind to the suffering of the people. It is something that we should be ready to do, for it is part of the mystery we have been called to live on this earth. It is an individual choice to make. All of us need to make decisions, the decision to look past the facades and the masks people wear. There is an ocean of life on people's faces. We need to be able to look at them intentionally to be able to pass through the ocean of masquerade and see the real souls of our neighbors. A person will ask, who is my neighbor? The same question was asked to Jesus in Luke chapter 10 verse 29. He replied and advised us to be merciful to each other. Now, how can we be merciful to our neighbors if we don't even see them? We have the choice to open or close our eyes. It is easier to close them, and it is one of the most often used behaviors of people around the world. People just close their eyes to not see the things that are going on. But it is written, for I was hungry and you gave me food, I was thirsty and you gave me drink, I was a stranger and you welcomed me, I was naked and you clothed me, I was sick and you visited me, I was in prison and you came to me, Matthew chapter 25 verse 34. It is impossible to achieve those things by being blind. And the thing is that no one will be able to respond on that day and say, I did not know, for we are all able to know. The thing is that we need to open our eyes just a little bit, and we will see several things that God has placed upon us. It is not rocket science that the Lord God has demanded each one of us to do but simple acts of kindness each new day that transform lives in a way we cannot imagine. Who will be able to tell how far a simple, good morning, goes? We will only be able to tell the story properly when we are clothed in our godly bodies and mind at the end of time, but for now, we need to follow the counsel of the one who knows everything, the counsel of God Most High, for it is he who is advising us to be kind to our neighbors. Each one of us should be able to come to the point we realize that we need to consciously declare, I refuse to close my eyes when someone is passing before me in pain. It is a case where we are making a clear and intentional decision to act with simple kindness and mercy to people around us. It is dangerous ground, for pain and rejection can be met when we step out of our way to minister to people around us. Still, we need to do it anyway. For we are the only ones who can do it, there is no one else coming to do the things that God has trusted us to do. God, time and choices. You still have choice. Hashtag God time choices.